Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning. I'm Aina Safira Anwar, your news reporter for today. Welcome to the MK News, bringing you to the Eye on the News for Wednesday, 11 December 2019. Today, we will serve you with the hottest and the most leading news about a new developed building construction near you old cafeteria in New MK. These building construction issues become viral among students and lecturers in UMK because they are worried that this construction will become a harmful factor to environment and affect their health conditions. So UMK News already done the interview session with project manager and EIA consultants from Green Home Environment Consultants Sultan Berhad regarding this project. So let's watch together. We can see the existing environment here mainly is forest which has many different species of tree. For geographical setting, the climate in this district area is typically tropical climate. This project site is located at Kampung Kemang Lama Ayelana Kelantan. It is next to the government institution University Malaysia Kelantan Campus Jelly which has thousand population of students. In this project, there are many waste generated during building construction. They will assemble the garbage at a specific location for further disposal. For the air pollution, the most common pollutant is dust, which is using the cement and also the sand during the construction project. This pollutant will cause a significant health impact to the workers and other the residents. For the mitigation, they have some mitigation should be done for the prevent this negative impact, which is using the screen dust to prevent the dust spread out from the construction site. For the monitoring, the constructor should measure the air quality index to ensure that they were maintained in the standard limit. As you will see that here's the list still in the raining season, so this air pollution was not significant effect toward the worker and also the resident. As we observe around this construction site, we found out that there are three ways that were generated from this construction project, which are general refuses, construction raw materials and chemical waste. These ways are able to harm the workers and the surrounding people. Besides, it will also cause soil pollution. So, I would like to take brick as an example. Organized brick seems harmless. However, scattered bricks will cause harm to the workers where they might trip over and hurt themselves. The next way, the next waste is cement. Cement will cause soil pollution where they will increase the soil pH and cause nutrient deficiency in plants. In order to prevent this from happening, contractors should establish a proper waste management plan to ensure minimization and proper handling, storage and disposal of waste. For future monitoring, contractors should schedule it, audit the construction site to assure that the mitigation measures are properly implemented. To determine whether there is soil pollution in this construction area, our lab technician had collected three different samples from three different sites to be analysed in the lab. Let's see the results. Overall, the soil texture is considered as sandy loam. They are including sand, slate and clay in our site location. Based on the analysis of soil texture triangle, the higher percentage of sand in sample 1 is 70.6%, 31.3% of slate in sample 2 and sample 3, lastly 10.9% of clay in sample 2. Noise will be one of the key environmental issues in this project. Construction works, delivery of building materials by heavy drugs, and the use of machinery of equipment can bring the potential impact of contributing the high level of noise within the sites and the surrounding area. Hence, one of the mitigation measures for this impact is scheduling of works to minimize the work skill and impact durations. Next, for the purpose of environmental monitoring, 
Regular monitoring of noise levels should be carried out before and throughout the construction works. This is to ensure the compliance with the relevant noise standards. Based on our observation, there's a lot of impact that been caused by the project of building and construction. One of it is the loss of habitat for flora and fauna. Moreover, the act of deforestation caused the reduction of oxygen supply and increased global warming. In order to overcome this problem, there's a lot of mitigation measures can be done. For fauna species, we need to provide a new place for them. One of it is by providing wildlife conservation center. Once we move them to a new place, we need to monitor and ensure that they have sufficient space and enough food supply in order to allow them to continue their life. For flora species, in order to prevent the extinction of tree species, programs such as the replanting of tree can be done. However, for the first six months, the monitoring process must be done in order to ensure that the trees can grow well. Next, the building construction will also bring uh, pollution to water. For example, the construction activities will require large quantity of water. The water will be mainly used for concrete mixing, carrying, sanitary and washing purpose. The excessive use of water may lead to negative impact on the water sources and its, sustain its sustainability. The excessive use of water on the site may also turn the soil and land become mud. There are some mitigation measures to be taken to reduce the impact. The proponent shall ensure the water is used efficiently at the site by sensitizing the construction staff to avoid the irresponsible usage of water. Besides, the simplified sedimentation tank shall be built on the site through which the engineering wastewater may be collected and settled. Section 18 of this Act also provides national monitoring and information system on the water resource. Okay, hi. Bersama saya pada hari ini seorang pelajar tahun akhir di Universiti Malaysia Kelantan. Cik Amali, persilakan. Uh, Cik Amali, sihat? Sihat. Cik Amali, Cik Amali tak pasal pembinaan yang berlaku dekat belakang ni sekarang? Tahu. Tahu. Oh, dah lama. Lepas tu ada tak apa-apa gangguan ataupun benda yang terkesan lah sepanjang pembinaan yang berlaku dekat sini? Ah, banyak juga. Sebab dia buat tu, negara pertama-pertama terkisi lepas tu kat bilik tu, kita tengah kejap je benda tu terkisah. Maksudnya, oh. ada tu pun lah. Jadi, rasanya ada tak apa-apa cadangan yang Encik Amani boleh letarkan untuk projek? Uh, untuk benda lulut saya lah, saya cadangkan untuk dia buat kepada cikgu semester sebab belajar pun tak ada So, dia buat berpisik tu, ok lah lagi sebab tak ada ok Ini sebab kita ada sendiri tapi kita pun impact sekatan kita at the end of this interview, we hope that this concludes the overall project purpose and awareness that they have done in order to protect our environment. For the recaps of today's hottest news, according to all the potential impact that might occur during the construction, EIA consultants choose soil condition as a significant factor that might contribute the highest impact to the environment. And surprisingly, they already collaborated with UMK's lab in order to perform soil analysis. We hope that this building construction will be performed well and achieve our UMK's vision in order to provide a good facility to UMK residents. That's all from us. See you again next time for the next 10 minutes news. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.